Hello, my name is Hudayfa, an architect and the mind behind ICT, as well as the leader of the team behind its development. In this video, I will take you on a special journey behind the scenes to share the story behind the development of ICT from a simple idea into a comprehensive tool it is today. We will talk about the challenges we faced, the achievements we made, and how our incredible team turned this dream into reality. Stick around until the end to know more about ICT and how it's made and its development and its future. So let's begin. First of all, I will talk about the idea and the development of the tool. The idea started two years ago when I decided to create a tool that can help people create cities detailed and easily. The goal was clear, is to create a tool not only for architects and urban planners, but also for game designers, artists, and filmmakers, and others, and make it possible to create their own cities easily and efficiently. From the start, I knew that we need three key pillars to succeed. The first pillar is realism and logic. The add-on had to rely on accurate architectural and urban planning principles, to ensure the results were realistic and consistent. The second key pillar was interactivity. We focused on creating a user-friendly tool that allows you to get an immediate feedback so users can have more creative decisions to design with. And in order to do that, we have to make sure that the tool always reacts fast to the user changes. And the third pillar is aesthetic appeal. We always had to make sure that the tool provides amazing looking results that meet the preferences of a wide range of users. These three pillars formed the foundation of ICT and its development. And in the next section, I will tell you how we develop the features from zero to the end. So let's begin. In this part, I will tell you more about the stages of the development of ICT. The development of one feature takes six steps to publish. Step one is the research and the development. So for instance, I will take the tower generation feature as an example that we are currently working on. We started by gathering information about different types of towers such as residential and commercial and its types. We analyzed the basic design, the geometry, and the elements, and sometimes we need to, uh, to understand more the structure and uh, the materials to get a better understanding why every tower looks that way. In the second phase, we analyze the research findings and we get into conclusions. So from the research, we, uh, we identify key architectural elements such as window placement, proportions, and how towers interact with their surroundings. In the third phase, we start creating our own algorithms based on the conclusions and the results that we came up with through the research phase. In the fourth phase, we start translating that algorithms into geometry nodes and testing it out to generate a functional system that works with our requirements. In the fifth phase, we start inserting the assets that we designed especially for these, these towers into the system to test it out and to see how the final building looks. After reaching this point, the feature will be ready to be added into the user interface where the customer or the user can use it to achieve their own results. In this phase also we need to test the implementation of this new feature and make sure that this new feature works perfectly with the other parts of ICT. Now I will tell you about one of the challenges that we faced in ICT and I will tell you how we managed to solve that issue. The challenge was to make all the systems in ICT interact with the slopes and uneven terrains. This was not just a technical challenge for ICT team but it's also a significant architectural one that all the architects and urban planners face when they do their own designs. To tackle this, I thought doing researches is not enough for this one. So we made a journey into the downtown of, of Amman, Jordan, a city known for its hilly terrain and unique urban planning. During our visit, we studied the sidewalk and the curvatures. So we studied how the sidewalks adapt to curves and slopes in the streets. The second topic was the stairs. 
we needed to know how usually architects and urban planners deal with the design of staircase that integrates seamlessly with sloped areas. The third one was architectural interactions. So we studied how buildings, street furniture, and other urban elements coexist with uneven terrains. And from technical researches and from the info that we understood through the journey, we could manage to create a system for ICT to interact with uneven slopes. To wrap up, I would like to thank anyone who watched this video and followed our journey. A special thanks to the incredible, passionate and creative team behind iCity. With God's grace and thanks to their effort, we could reach this level of success. Our team is constantly improving iCity to match your needs, your thoughts and your expectations. If you have any suggestions or ideas for features, please leave them in the comments or in our Discord community or on uh, Twitter or LinkedIn. Links will be below. And finally, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video.